Hi folks. I broadcast about an hour and a half ago or so. Um, hey guys, I wanted to tune back in because a couple of people wanted to see what the tofu looked like finished. So I'm about to take it out of the oven and show you what it looks like finished. So this is what you should get, a beautiful golden brown, right? We talked about earlier it not being floppy, and as you can see, this is still really hot because it just came out of the oven. As you can see, it is not floppy at all. Nothing floppy about tofu that has been, for all intents and purposes, roasted. So I had this at 425. We marinated it earlier. You can check the replay out. It will be live for another 24 hours or so. And I'm going to plate this up. I've got a homemade plate. The vegan potter, baby. This is good stuff. And it's beautifully browned. It definitely cooked for longer. I'm terrible at, you know, I'm not a cookbook star, so I'm terrible at estimating time because I do everything just by sight. But as you can see, you want it to be a really nice golden brown. I baked it, but regular tofu. Yeah, extra firm tofu. Extra firm always. Extra firm tofu to start. And I marinated it, but not for any length of time. A cool plate, thank you. Not for any length of time. I just marinated it and stuck it on this baking tray so that the marinade, and you can see some pieces get a little bit overcooked on the edges. This almost turns into like a, a jerky sort of um, after it's been in the fridge for a while. So it's really great in salads. And I did taste test this. It's delicious, not super powerful flavor. So that marinade that we did earlier was, um, here I'll do this a little bit better so you can see in the light how beautiful this is up close and personal. Um, what's in the marinade? Check out the replay. I very distinctly outline all the ingredients in the marinade. Um, but basically orange juice, what else was in there? Sesame oil, a um, little bit of hot sauce, a little bit of smoked paprika, a little bit of maple syrup. And I'm about to write a blog post about this. So let's get a up close and personal. I'm about to write a, a blog post about this so you'll be able to see the whole recipe and uh, understand exactly what happened that went into the making of this quick easy tofu. It definitely baked for a bit longer. I probably baked it for close to a half an hour if not a little bit longer on each side. Um, so I had time to do the laundry <laughs> while it was in the oven multitasking and uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed. So check out the replay for the full recipe and check out my blog at theveganpotter.com. Serving suggestions, yeah. You can serve this with salad. Um, it would be great over brown rice. You could certainly put a dressing on it. You can serve it hot or cold. Um, I will probably make a salad later with grapes and um, roasted carrots and fresh greens. Um, really simple salad. It's a great source of protein. You can serve it up with all kinds of stuff in a stir fry, over veggies. It's really versatile and you can certainly change up the ingredients in the marinade as well. It doesn't have to be, uh, you know, the ingredients that I used. But as you can see, hot but not floppy, right? Nothing floppy about it. So I'm going to take a bite so you can see. Nothing floppy. Really delicious. You can see inside. It'll stay the tofu color, the white color inside, but mm, really good. I hope you guys tune in again. How long will that amount last you? This is tofu. Um, and so it's enough for leftovers. You know, we'll, we'll eat it tonight for dinner. My fiance is not a, a huge tofu fan, but he does like it prepared this way. I'll chop it up. I'll probably chop it up into finer slices and throw it over some rice or throw it in the salad I talked about. For more info and the recipe coming soon theveganpotter.com. Thank you. Take care, guys.